there. He's going to find something special. Still in front is Mac Dan. Down the outside, Night Spirit. He's a shark. He's making ground down the outside. Mac Dan in front. He's a shark's coming at him. Mac Dan has to lift. He is lifting. Mac Dan in front. Mac Dan wins. Beats. He's a shark. Third was Beach City. Fourth placing Maharaja. <laughs> Track sides here with Greg Shookers. Thank you, Jim. Macdan takes out the derby for 2020. And Greg, you had a tough run for the first lap outside the leader. How are you feeling at that point? Yeah, I was a little bit concerned. I would have liked to have obviously loved uh, that position, um, you know, a fair bit easier than what it turned out. But, you know, I was always confident in this horse's ability and, um, you know, I was pretty, uh, pretty confident the team would have him uh, cherry ripe for this assignment. So, um, yeah, I still obviously thought I was a big live chance. He kept finding something up the straight, didn't he? The crowd was cheering, there was horses coming out wide, but he kept maintaining the front. Uh, you must have been pretty effort with how he kept going up the straight. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's probably, you know, he's only had a limited career, obviously, and hadn't had that many starts, and probably hasn't been driven that aggressive, uh, I would have thought. So sometimes, you know, just driving him a bit different to what their normal uh, racing pattern has been can be enough to pull him unstuck. But to his credit, he dug deep when he sort of, you know, felt like he was kind of out of chips straightening up when the others were coming at him, but, um, but he dug deep, so he's a winner. Well done, Greg. Congratulations. Greg Sugars taking out a race number three, the 2020 Pacing Derby, sponsored by High Gang with Mac Dang for trainer Emma Stewart. That brings up a double for Emma, taking out race number one without to play. And now the Derby with Mac Dang. Build up a 25 metre lead. He's in front, coming into the front straight. Only the draw was going to beat him, and he shakes him up, and he's clear. And Sanur Beach is going to bolt in. Sanur Beach, another one for the release, and also Jason Finnis. They take another kindergarten, and Sanur Beach goes on to win. And he's getting tired, but he wins by 29 metres. Indiana second in front of Better Mind than yours. Then in turn, Million Dollar Kiss made some ground. Amazing Kate behind. Tracks here with uh, Jason Finnis after the running of the kindergarten series final now jason he only had one start heading into this race he won a uh, heat to found gambia last saturday night a non tab event only been home for three runners but randak won that quite well uh, how are you feeling heading into the race tonight yeah very well it's a bit tricky, isn't it? um yeah i thought i had the toughest horse in the race but um he's still learning what to do on the corners the first corner he was a bit bouncy but once he got around the first corner he felt good after that he got a really nice clean break on the turn. He was clear by about 25 odd metres. How are you feeling at that point? Yeah, he just, he, a few months ago, he used to break on the corners, so I was just worried that he just made sure he got around it. But, um, yeah, he still had the plugs in both races he's had, so he's still got a bit more upside. And, um, yeah, we'll probably give him a little break now and aim for some more races later on. Now, one thing I've noticed from doing these on-course interviews, you're always a bit of a mainstay on these big nights. Wayville, you won a couple of races there, and tonight on SA Cup night here at Globe Derby, you've taken out one of the features, the Kindergarten Series final. It must feel nice to win races like this in front of these kinds of crowds. Yeah, that's it. I don't drive a real lot as much as I used to, so I just like to try and get to the better nights, especially up in Adelaide, support Adelaide. It's been good to me over the years, so it's good to come here on the big nights. Well done, Jason. Congratulations. Jason Fingers takes out the Kindergarten Series final for Tranger. Elise Fingers with Sonora Beach in a 12 11 2 8. Your numbers there after race number four, the Kindergarten Series final for 2020. Always a very entertaining series for the two year old horses. Yeah. This is the Truggers Cup for 2020. It promises to be a fantastic race. Jim Jakes will be on the microphone shortly for the call for the tab. Troggers Cup. Robbie Zubin got a thunder. Here comes Aussie to the outside now. Is Mock with the last crack of them. In front the penny drops. Aussie looms up on the outside. Is Mock trying to level up. The penny drops doesn't give it though. The penny drops and Is Mock here's the finish line. Aussie Aussie does it again. Is Mock takes out a SA Trotters Cup. Second the penny drops. Third a gap of 15 metres to maybe the God of Thunder in front of Kitsolano. Then Cool Breeze here at a race. Thank you, Jim. We'll catch up with Aussie shortly, but what a finish in that Troggers Cup. Is mocked down the outside. The penny drops with a very courageous run in second. And it was just a fantastic finish with those two fantastic horses driving to the line. For local Kitsilango, a big effort to hold on to third in front 
of God of Thunder, the other local hope in the cup. So, Benign takes it. Is Mock the South Australian Troggers Cup at Group 2 level goes to Brent Lilly's stable with Aussie Misford in the sulky. A very big effort for him as well. He took out the Victor Harbour Troggers Cup only a couple of weeks ago on Australia Day. A few weeks back, I should say now a month, my apologies. The Troggers Cup was in the thir- on the 30th but, um, of December. But uh, he's had a big couple of months Aussie here in South Australia. And now he's taking out the premier Troggers race here in this state. I'm here with Aussie Misford after the running of the Troggers Cup. Now, Aussie, you must be stoked with that. As I said earlier, you took out the Victor Harbour's Troggers Cup a couple months back. And now here tonight, you've taken out the feature South Australian Troggers Cup. You must be thrilled. I am thrilled, mate. I am thrilled for my, my darling wife at home. She does a great job buying these horses for me and looking after us, looking after the team. She's in a bit of a bad uh, way at the moment. She can't travel with us to these meetings. But I'd like to thank Brett Lilly. I asked him about five months ago if he'd buy me a nice horse from New Zealand. He uh, went out and bought him for me. I got the right one. I said, we'll do the job. He brought him back, brought him up back slowly, gave me a trial drive on him and won at stall. And then we won here tonight. I just really, I've won this race before with a nice horse called Dakery. And I really do enjoy coming over to South Australia and racing over here. All the people are very, very good. Um, I'd like to thank the South Australia Harness Trotting Club for putting on a race like this every year. Um, I'd love to thank all the people here. Uh, I'd like to thank Jimmy Jakes for a beautiful call that he puts on every time that I race a horse here. I haven't met the guy, but I'd like to meet the guy tonight and have a beer with him. But... um, now, I really like the Adelaide atmosphere. The Brett Lilly camp is a very nice, tight, neat camp. I'm in there. He, he, he lets me drive the horse. He enjoys me driving him. And I don't think I've been doing anything wrong driving the horse. Thank you, everyone. Well done, Ozzy. Come and join us for the presentation now. The presentation will be taking place shortly. Ozzy Misford and Gasolke for Brent Lilly will now hand over to the Vice President of the Square Troggers Association, Jeff Proctor, to conduct the presentation. Thanks very much, Lockie. And once again, uh, a couple of years ago, I was here talking to uh, Ozzy when Dakery won. And um, here we are again. What a wonderful race that was and a great finish. Um, I think Neil McCallum summed it up uh, as he was going off the track. He just said, too good. And, uh, you know, what a great sportsmanship that was from Neil as well. Anyhow, on behalf of the SA Square Trotters and also Harness Racing SA, I'd like to congratulate uh, uh, Brent and uh, Ozzy and your wife, Julie and Willie. I've yes. found out, well, wife and son. And uh, Ozzy, the driver, uh, a great effort. Congratulations to uh, Brent Lilly for a wonderful training effort as well. And um, now... Uh, uh, we've got a presentation here, so uh, who's going to accept that one? On think... behalf of my wife, Julie Mifsud, and my son, William, which is a disabled son, he's 36 years old, he can't come to these sort of meetings, which, is, which sometimes in Melbourne, where the weather is good, he does come with us. And um, now we'd like to thank the South Australia Trotting Club for putting this race on for us. I was lucky enough to win it with a horse called Dakery a couple of years ago. Um, my wife, Julie, would be ecstatic at home. Um, all I'd like to thank is Mr Lilly for buying this horse for me in New Zealand. I asked him about six months to buy me a half a decent horse and he came back with this horse and I'm very, very proud of him and thank you very much. And I really enjoy coming to South Australia. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that completes the presentation for the South Australian Truggers Cup, taken out by Ismok in the sulky there, Aussie Misfig. A fantastic story and a fantastic race, and it was a fantastic duel up the straight, that's for sure. That completes the Truggers Cup for 2020. Now, coming up next, race number six is the Justice Family Plate, the consolation for the SA Pacing Cup.
prepared. Putras is not giving in at all. He's kicking back. He's had a tough run. So is the collector. And now Better Vision starting to join in with his sprint. And he's got him covered. Better Vision goes straight past him. And he's home and hose. Julius Franco getting out and running on. But Better Vision goes on to win comfortably. Second placing Julius Franco just in front of the collector. Then Futurist behind those was always my mate. Trackside here with Ryan Raharig after the running of the Justice Family Plate for 2020. Brings up a double for Ryan, but this one will be a little bit more special. He trains this guy, better vision in front of us. Ryan, he's a nice course over the concluding stages. That's before he rocketed uh, down the outside. You must have been pretty happy with his effort up the straight. Yeah, super happy. Um, you know, we've had a bit of a checkered sort of run the last couple of weeks and missing a few runs. and. Yeah, it wasn't ideal over the longer trip, which we're not sure how we would run it out. But, um, yeah, look, he's had a few issues that we've had to sort of get on top of. And probably after tonight, we're probably on the right track. He's, look, he's a very, very fast horse held up for the right run. You've only had his horse for a couple months now. Over those couple months, you've got some time to get to know him. Um, how are you feeling hanging into this race tonight? Yeah, look, I, I would have liked last week's run. Um, but, I mean, saying that, I know it's sort of Rob Peter to the pay Paul a little bit because he does go very well fresh. Um, but, yeah, I didn't think he'd do that. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Ryan Rohorek, a double for him. He's taking out the Legends Trot and the Justice Family Plate, and he's done it in fine fashion. Better Vision takes out race number six. We'll have the presentation very shortly. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've just seen the running of the Justice Family Plate taken out by Better Vision, Ryan Rohorek, the trainer driver. We're very lucky to have Amanda Justice and Joanne Justice, members of the Justice family on course here tonight. I'd now like to hand over to Joanne to say a couple of words. Thank you. The Justice 2020 race was fantastic. When they said a rush of blood, that reminded me of my family so much at the start. Joe Cabone has been associated with our family for a long time. I'm very happy that his horse has won this race. I'd like to thank South Australia Harness Racing Club for allowing us to sponsor this race every year. It's sort of a privilege to be standing here. Um, and Ryan, he just drove a fantastic race tonight. So thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's good to see everybody here tonight. It looks like a nice crowd. Um, firstly, I'd like to thank the Justice boys, the Justice family. Me and the boys, we go back a long, long way. We've had a lot of uh, racing together. They've raced, trained for me, and we go a real, real long way with them. They're very good people. And uh, I'd like to thank the club for putting on this uh, terrific night tonight. And on behalf of the other owners, thanks very much, everybody. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that completes the presentation for the 2020 Justice Family Plate. Another exciting race for the SA Cup Constellation. And well done to Better Vision for taking it out for the Ryan Rahorek team and his big team of owners. Up next, it's a big one, the Pacing Cup at 9.02 p.m. The build-up is now. We'll be seeing the horses come out onto the track shortly. It should be a very intriguing race. Karen goes for home. In front, Pat Stanley leads by five metres. Rack him up, Tiger Pie, trying hard on the inside to come at this leader. Getting tired, Pat Stanley. Rack him up, Tiger Pie, getting up on the inside. Pat Stanley in front, rack him up, Tiger Pie. Karen's done it. Yup, yup, gee. Pat Stanley first, second, rack him up, Tiger Pie. Third over the line was somewhere secret. Then in turn behind those was Stroke of Luck and Blissful Stride together. Track sides here with of Karen Manning after the running of the South Australian Pacing Cup at Group 2 level. Karen, you're the trainer and driver of this horse and uh, that is just a massive effort. How are you feeling overall during a run? Oh, yeah, a little bit worried. We, we did a ton of work um, early, obviously, to hold the front and then um, got, a, got tacked for a fair way. So he was probably left vulnerable. I wasn't sure how strong he was, but he's turned out he's, he's pretty tough and he did a great job. Now, the spring up the straight was very intense. You had rack em up Tiger Pie coming. How are you, how are you feeling over the concluding stages? Uh, look, yeah, I, I kicked on the turn. He dropped in behind me, but I knew he'd be coming again. Um, I thought I'd hold him to probably the, the uh, semaphore board there, and, I, and the last 50, I wasn't sure uh, if we'd, we were going to hold on, but he, he just had his head in front, so that was great. Um, good feeling. Well done. Sorry, Becca, ladies and gentlemen, but a winger of the TAB South Australian Pacing Cup. Taken out there by Pat Stanley, Karen Manning, the trainer driver. 
a massive effort and as Jim said, one of the best female drivers in the world is taking out our feature race here in South Australia. Shortly, the presentation. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've just seen the running of the 2020 Group 2 Tab South Australian Pacing Cup. Pat Stanley, your winner, Karen Manning, the trainer driver, and she's made a very, it's a very good drive, that's for sure, and a very exciting finish with a rack -em up Tiger Pie in the finish as well. Now I'd like to hand over to the CEO of Harness Racing South Australia, Ross Neal, to conduct the presentation. Thanks, Lockie. Um, first of all, um, welcome everyone here tonight. Um, it's a, certainly a great night for harness racing, and it's, we just witnessed another great South Australian, uh, a TAB South Australian Pacing Cup. Um, on behalf of my organisation, Harness Racing South Australia, we're indebted to the support from the TAB, our wagering provider. Um, you see TAB signage everywhere. They contribute significantly to harness racing, not only here, but throughout the country. So we thank them for their support. As I said, we've just seen a marvellous performance by Pat's... Um, Pat Stanley, Pat Stanley in winning the cup, you know, it was very intense near the line, but it certainly fought hard and got the job done in, in, in great style. So I'd now like to present the trophy to the uh, winning connection. Thanks, mate. Right, mate. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you. How are you guys? Uh, thank you for coming out. It's a massive crowd, not what we're used to in harness racing. I uh, just wanted to thank everyone for yeah, coming out and showing support. Um, me and Jake Webster, we mapped out a plan, looked for a horse about two months ago, found this horse, hit up a couple of owners and we got him and yeah, sent him to be under Karen and got the job done. So thank you guys, it was awesome. Cheers. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Thanks, well, ladies and gentlemen, that completes the running of the SA Pacing Cup for 2020. A very exciting race. But the winner is Pat Stanley, Kara Manning, the trainer driver, takes out the 2020 SA Cup.